Netflix is making a lot of changes when it comes to Bridgerton Season 3, but one of the most important is its release schedule which, unlike the previous two seasons of Bridgerton, is coming out in two parts in May and June of 2024. Bridgerton first began in 2020, and since then, there have been three seasons and one spin-off series. Based on books by Julia Quinn, Bridgerton has taken the world by storm, becoming one of Netflix's most popular and beloved properties. And even though the service is making audiences wait, season 3 will likely be just as successful. Bridgerton is far from the first Netflix series to be released in two parts. The trend really gained traction in 2022 when the streaming service released season 4 of Stranger Things in two parts. Although this splitting of a season may seem unwise, as it forces audiences to wait to find out what happens, the fact that streaming services continue doing it proves that there must be some method to the madness. Luckily though, Bridgerton fans don't have that long to wait, and hopefully, the first six episodes will hold them over until then. Bridgerton Season 3, Part 2 releases June 13th. There's a 27-day wait for more episodes. While Bridgerton Season 3, Part 1 released on Netflix on May 16th, 2024, the second part of the season will premiere a month later, on June 13th, 2024. In total, there are 27 days between Part 1 and Part 2. In other terms, that is approximately four weeks. Ultimately, this wait is not particularly long, especially compared to Stranger Things Season 4, which made audiences wait from the end of May until the beginning of July. Overall, the wait before Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 will be notable, but not completely unbearable. A regular television series might have six episodes for an entire season, however this is only half of Bridgerton Season 3. In this way, audiences may have to wait for the rest of Bridgerton Season 3, but in the meantime, they will have enough episodes that it will feel like an entire season of television. And on top of that, viewers can get excited by the fact that there could be six more episodes in just a matter of a month. Why Bridgerton Season 3 is in two parts. The part one cliffhanger makes the wait harder. Penelope and Colin are looking at each other in Bridgerton Season 3. The reason why Netflix splits its biggest releases into two parts is something of a double-edged sword. By making Bridgerton Season 3 have two parts, Netflix forces fans to wait longer, and while this could be annoying to some, it also creates delayed gratification. In the space between parts, anticipation is heightened, excitement builds, and people are talking about the show. Furthermore, Bridgerton Season 3, Part 1 ends on a cliffhanger. In this way, viewers are even more eager to see Part 2, and the previously mentioned aspects are increased even more, making Bridgerton the talk of the tongue.